Я, конечно, хочу все-таки ясновидение, ясно-знание, там все это, мне это жутко интересно, мне я что-то в себе... Sure, I'd like to be clairvoyant, I find it terribly interesting. I feel something within me, I feel something within me, but I'm not capable yet. And those meditation techniques you give us, to feel the heartbeat, the breathing, the vital vibration, the spinal breathing, I don't understand whether I feel it or not. How can I feel it correctly? The sensations are always pretty realistic. If you visualize them, but feel nothing in reality, then it's a chimera. I mean that it's merely a visualization, no more than that. The sensations in the spine when it's happening is impossible to confuse with something else. You feel it. It's a natural human sensation, especially given the sufficient degree of focus. An exception would be a spinal injury that interrupts nerve endings. If this is not the case, then you have to practice. First of all, work on improving the flexibility of your spine, because it's highly possible that the sensations are blocked due to muscle stiffness. They do, yes. Therefore, try some yoga. Yoga that specifically focuses on the flexibility of joints, the flexibility of the spine. After three, four months of systematic exercise, as well as of chakral breathing and craniosacral rhythm practices, you will attain such a range of sensations that you never dreamed of before. It's just that some will experience it straight away, while others will need to practice. It's a matter of time. Trust me, in my school even paralyzed people have come to feel the sacral rhythm, but only with regular practice. Whereas if you give up after trying once or twice, this won't work. The body, and this is very clearly expressed by people who belong to the system of order, you are not used to paying attention to your body. You consider it not being worth your attention. You consider it as slightly dirty, something that equates a human with an animal. It's something in the back of the mind that is never completely processed, but is always present. Therefore, it is considered shameful to be giving a lot of attention to one's own body. And Soviet upbringing has played its special part in that as well. And of course, one's own inner attitude. Maybe you were a man in your past life, a Christian monk, for example. Then it's highly possible that it's written within your subcortex that the body is dust and that no attention should be paid to it as it's a vessel of sin. And now finding yourself in a female body and not having anything to do with monastic orders, you've preserved those memories. One way or another, punishing yourself for the needs of your physical body. Your body's great at catching these signals, thinking that it's better to stop feeling anything at all, rather than being reprimanded by its own head. Which is why in this case it's necessary to break the worldview, because the body is just as much a part of the consciousness as everything else. If it doesn't provide the mind with energy of the correct quality, the mind will not be able to function correctly and efficiently. Start taking care of your physical body, start exercising and most importantly do not rush, because as soon as you remove these blockages, you will immediately be swayed to perceive reality and yourself differently. And your reasoning will also become completely different. And the question of why one shouldn't serve two gods simultaneously will not even cross your mind. As the reason why would be obvious. And it will not be clear why you couldn't understand this in the past. Currently, it is possible that your mind, having disassociated itself from its own body, doesn't even perceive you as the carrier of a personal consciousness. But in the future it will do so. Because what could be more personal to someone than his own body? We cannot vouch for our thoughts, even less for our convictions. They are obviously not our own. But the body… there's nothing that's as close as dear.